In past two decades, India tried its best to pitch it against China. It seemed that West prefers its long-standing relationship with India to curtail China in the field ranging from arms and ammunition to economics. India in last few years, given the economic progress and its close relationship with the West, India was trying every possible option and taking every available opportunity to confirm its status as permanent member of Security Council of United Nations. With huge investment and support of the West, India progressed providing huge market to the West courtesy its population. And on the other side, it is pitching itself as competitor also to the West. Take recent moon landing as an example. Moon landing by India puts India in direct competition with West in claiming resources on moon. Everything between West and India was going perfect. But here India lands on moon in August 2023. In the next month of September, West raises a serious case against India. West claims that they have reliable and actionable intelligence evidence against India and also claims that India is seriously breaching sovereignty of Canada. Allegation on India is serious and claim in the allegation is murder of a Khalistan movement leader Hardeep Singh Najjar living in Canada who allegedly has been victim of target killing by assailants originating from India who reportedly were Indian government agents. Notably, in May 2023, another Khalistan movement leader was killed in a foreign land, Pakistan, a killing similar to Najjar's murder. Khalistan movement is a separatist movement by Sikhs to claim their separate homeland from India. Genocide of Sikhs in 1984, post-death of Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi, is part of Indian history which cannot be refuted. After 1984 massacre, Sikhs started migrating from India to Canada and now Canada is home to world's largest Sikh population outside India and ironically the home of separatist movement of Khalistan. Indian government in past sought information or action under 1987 extradition treaty and 1998 mutual legal assistance treaty or through Interpol against Najjar who was in Canada. However, after murder of Hardeep Singh Najjar, events have unfolded unfavorably for India. Canada, USA, UK, Australia, New Zealand are on one side, united against India, demanding assistance in finding the killers. On the other hand, India not only refuses but also has suspended the diplomatic relationship with Canada. Question is, what would happen? Can India resist West who are India's biggest investors and well-wishers? Secondly, can India isolate itself by leaving the Western Bloc? Thirdly, is a Khalistan movement future is safe and bright in the coming years? And lastly, that can West afford to checkmate its king on Asian economy chessboard? Only time will tell.